Welcome to a new episode of Ain't Got Time to Read, the place where I read a story, give you a breakdown of the plot, and simply save you time. Now before we continue, here is your spoiler alert. If you have not read the story I'm about to discuss and you do plan to read it, then you may want to avoid this video or watch it at a later date. So that being said, let's dig into the plot of today's story. The story is recounted by Count Antoine de C. 600 years earlier when Henry the Comte's son, Godfrey, vanished, Henry and a search party went looking for the boy. Henry entered an alchemist's cottage and found him stood over a boiling cauldron. Believing that the man named Michel Mouvet was responsible for Godfrey's disappearance, in a fit of rage Henry grabbed him by the throat and when he calmed down, Michel Mouvet was dead. The alchemist's son, Charles Le Sorcier, approached Henry and chanted, May never a noble of thy murderous line survive to reach a greater age than thine. Charles Le Sorcier drew a vial of colourless liquid from his tunic and threw it in Henry's face and disappeared into the night. Henry died instantly and then not even realising that his son Godfrey had been found safe and sound nowhere near Michel Mouvet's cottage. Count Antoine de C continues to recount that his family had in fact been cursed. No one from his family had lived past the age of 32, which is the age that Henry had died 600 years prior. His son Godfrey had died from a misplaced arrow during a hunting trip at the age of 32. Godfrey's son Robert was then found dead in a field soon after his 32nd birthday. His son Louis was then found drowned in a moat at the age of 32. And so the cycle continued causing fear for each new generation as the curse became more apparent. The curse also caused the family line to dwindle over the centuries and the castle had fallen into disrepair. Antoine only lives in a small part of the castle that is still habitable. When Antoine was orphaned, he was raised by a servant named Pierre. On this particular night, Antoine is aware that he is now 32 and that he constantly finds himself watching the time. Refusing to accept that his time is up and alone now that Pierre has passed away, Antoine explores the castle. He finds a trapdoor in one of the oldest parts of the castle. He briefly explores but when he attempts to leave he is horrified to find that he is not alone as somebody is blocking the trapdoor. The man is wearing a long medieval tunic, has long black hair and a beard, as well as long nails that look like claws. Speaking in Latin which Antoine had researched and understood, the man tells Antoine that Charles Le Sorcier was the one that had killed his ancestors. He also states that Charles Le Sorcier had even resided in the subterranean chambers, to nobody else's knowledge. The man raises a glass vial, but Antoine reacts and throws his torch at the man. The torch ignites the man's tunic and he lets out a horrible scream as he goes up in flames. The sight is too much for Antoine and he faints. When he awakes, he lights a new torch and finds Charles Le Sorcier's alchemy chamber. He then leaves but finds that the man is still alive. With his last bit of strength he raises his burnt face off the ground and tells Antoine that thanks to finding out how to create an elixir of youth, he was able to fulfil Antoine's family curse. And the man reveals that he is in fact a 600 year old Charles Le Sorcier. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video please like and subscribe and I will see you with the next video.